So today I want to read you another great story that connects to art. This book is called Ish by Peter H. Reynolds, who also wrote the famous book The Dot, another great book. Wow, look at that beautiful colour, pink. Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. Raymond loved to draw. Any time, anything, anywhere. Wow, he's even drawing on the in the bathroom. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Raymond couldn't even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Oh dear, not very happy. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. Wow, look at that room. He was about to yell, but fell silent. He saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. Wow, so beautiful. This is one of my favourites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she explained. Ish? Raymond looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's wall and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energised, thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt. Loose lines quickly springing out without worry. So he's just drawing. Just not even planning it, just drawing and seeing what happens. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him. Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals. Tree-ish. House-ish. Boat-ish. Afternoon-ish. Fish-ish. Sun-ish. Ramon realised he could draw his feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. Ponder, pond, pond, dream, yonder, pond, pond, yond, yond, gleam, wonder, Ramon. One morning, one spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savoured it. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. So that story is about how sometimes you might do a drawing or do some art and maybe it doesn't look exactly like the thing that you're drawing. But that's okay. Even if it looks a little bit like it, then it's still art. And that's what we use that word ish. That's kind of what that means. It's vase ish. It means it's a bit like it. So today I would like you to have a go at drawing six ish pictures. 
six, six little sketches of different things, different ideas, and just make them a bit like it. It doesn't have to be exactly like the thing you're drawing. I'm gonna show you what to do right now. So we're going to use the book-ish as inspiration to have a go at doing six quick-ish drawings. If you are stuck for ideas, you can look back in the book near the end and you can see what ideas Raymond had for his ish pictures. He had tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish and sun-ish. He also had his feelings, so peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. So what I want you to do is get a pencil and I'd like you to draw one line across the middle of your page. Make it as straight as you can. If it's not very straight, that's okay. And two lines going down. And that will give you one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. And then inside each box, you have to draw a different-ish picture. So think of your own ideas. You could look around you. If I'm looking around me here, I can see I have got a pot here. Maybe I could draw this pot with some flowers coming out of it. So I might want to put the pot in front of me so I can see it. And I'm going to have a go at doing an ish drawing. So it's a bit like that. I'm going to have some flowers coming out of my pot. Maybe a leaf. So I'm kind of using something real that I can see in front of me. And I'm using my imagination because I can't see the flowers because I haven't got any flowers in there. And then I have to put the line for the back of my pot. There's one drawing, flower-ish. What can I do next? I think I quite like the idea of flowers. So maybe on this page, I might try and have a go at doing another sort of flower and just seeing what happens. 